welcome to this video I'll be showing you how I make a basic wig this is the method that I use for pretty much every single one of my wigs I will be sewing down a lace closure as well as four bundles of body wave hair so let's get started so I'm going to start by getting my dome cap and I'm just going to place it onto my mannequin head I use this dome cap for myself every single time it's the perfect size for my head I don't ever need to use an elastic band nor do I need to secure it any further but it's taken me a while to find the cap that's perfect for my head size so it might take you a while to do so as well just try different types it's all down to trial and error really so here I have my lace closure it's been parted in the middle already so it's going to be a center part I'm going to place it in the center of the cap and then I'm going to use these pins to hold this lace closure in place as I'm holding the lace closure in place I'm going to make sure I've laid the closure as flat as possible and these pins also are a great guide for when I'm sewing it down so that I know that the closure is in place it just stitching the lace closure down onto the cap all the way around the perimeter of the lace closure So as I've stitched all the way around and I've finally reached the other side of the closure, I'm going to pull the closure down and stitch at the same time. This is also going to ensure the closure is laid as flat as possible onto the cap and obviously onto the mannequin head. I'll be sewing down these four bundles of hair from Fashion Icon Hair. They are an AliExpress vendor. I'll put all their details in the description box. So don't forget to check that out also if you are interested in buying this hair. start off with my first bundle from ear to ear and I make sure I take my needle through the end of the weft and out through the cap that's going to make sure every single end or every single fold over that I do on the cap is going to be as flat as possible so that we don't have bits that sticking out and making the wig itself look bulky on the sides
from there I'm just going to be taking my needle under the weft and out through the cap all the way around until I get to the other ear where I'm going to need to do my fold over method. So here's the very simple fold over method that I use each time I get to the edge of the cap. I will take my needle through the weft and out through the cap, then I fold my weft over into the direction I need to start stitching in, and then I will take my needle again up through the weft and out through the cap. Taking your needle through the weft allows for the stitching to be a lot more secure rather than taking it under the weft. So always try and stitch through the weft once you get to the edge of the cap. This will also make sure that there are no bulky bits at the side of the wig once it's complete.
Once I reach the final stage of stitching the bundles down, I make sure I stitch through the weft and up out through the closure. This always helps for the weft to be as flat as possible. And to me, there's a nice blend between the weft and the closure. It really does help to make a seamless application at this point. And the wig is pretty much complete. At this point you're ready to go on to style the wig and of course wear it. If you feel like you need to add elastic or clips or anything along those lines to your wig you can go ahead and do so but I haven't done so in this because this wig was absolutely perfect for my head so I didn't need to add any extra security. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope this video has been helpful. Please leave your comments down below if there's anything else you'd like for me to show you or if anything wasn't clear. Don't forget to check out the description box also because all the information you need will be down there. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I thank you guys again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye!